This is pork in China. Everybody's showing this chart. What I want to show is not only the spike up, reminiscent of years ago, but on a jolt basis, a jolt to the households of China, we're well outside two standard deviations of a trend. There's a real acceleration to this, Tom. What is the day-to-day, moment-to-moment pressure on the communist leadership over surging pork prices? Pork is a staple in the Chinese diet, and you're right to point this out. Prices are up about 70% year-to-date. Officials here said there's a shortage of about 10 million tonnes of pork. They've unleashed some of their frozen stockpiles. They've put in place some initiatives to ensure that there is more pork on the market, but it's going to take a long time. They don't think, actually, they're going to be able to address those shortages into 2020. Mm -hmm. What it means from a policy response is that it tightens the hands, really, and restricts the options for the PBOC. The monetary policy here will be more restrictive because these prices, pork prices, are starting to feed into the broader basket of CPI here. So it makes that monetary policy response that much more difficult for the PBOC. And of course, that ties into the trade story, right? The economy here continues to slow, but will the PBOC be able to step up as aggressively as it has in the past? Possibly not with pork prices this high.